Okay, so how do we fold a glider for shipping or if you want to bring it on an airplane with you and pack it down as small as possible? First of all, you need to find a nice open area with very, very little wind because you're not going to fold a glider when the wind's blowing. That will not end well. So I find myself some nice open grass, luckily. Put the risers a little bit away from the glider. You don't want the risers close because when you open the glider, it's going to drag the risers. Now I need to lay the glider out completely flat. Boom. And try and get these lines out. And you got to be careful you don't drag the tips of the risers. The tips of the risers are your life. So pay attention to those when you open the glider so you don't drag them inside the lines and create a total mangled mess. See how the risers are now getting drugged? You can see that they're now getting drugged, so now I've got to be careful. So now it's partially open. And now I take the riser on the left side here, and I need to whip it back and forth to get the lines away from the glider. And then same thing on this one. Whip it back and forth. This really pulls the lines out away from the glider as you see. Makes it very quick and simple to get the lines away from the cloth. Now I can continue opening the glider to make it open fully. <laughs> and of course, hooking lines in your legs, the pain. Bingo, now she's open. Okay, now we gotta do this line whipping one more time because now we gotta get all of the lines on top of the cloth. So we kind of whip it back and forth and that will pull the lines out away from the glider enough where it makes your job fairly simple. And now I place the risers right at the edge of the glider. Now I'm gonna make sure that I got all of the lines on top of the glider and because I'm so skilled with my line whipping notice all the lines are already on top of the glider hence the line whipping got to be a little gentle doing that because if the brake comes off <laughs> it goes all the way through and it, it's a pain in the butt so don't whip too hard just enough to get the lines on top of the glider so let's see if we can be skillful in doing that again Bingo, set the risers neatly right in the middle of the glider, bam. So this glider is really nice because we have a nice little teardrop which signifies the exact center point of the glider, risers at the center. Now once again I check and perfect line whipping, I got all the lines onto the glider without even having to drag them out. Sometimes you'll have a straggler and you gotta pull the line out and get it on top of the wing. Now, it's as simple as hurry your butt up because if the wind blows, it's gonna screw up all your hard work. So now we take wing tips to the center. Whoop, we're getting some wind. So we gotta hurry up. Wing tips to the center. Yo. Okay, and now, outside to the center. Outside to the center. Bingo, and now I kind of crease here, outside to the center, crease again, and outside to the center. Bingo. Folding it up. Now, same thing on the other side. So I can kind of make a crease to get the fold a little bit. Outside to the center, into the middle. Kind of crease again. Outside to the center. Right there. Okay, now I have maybe a foot or less of glider on either side. And you can kind of stuff the insides in just to make sure it stays a little flat, like so. 
Now, all we gotta do, take the tips of the risers. Here's the tips of the risers, and we just fold it up onto the glider. So now notice, the lines come around the glider, so you're not gonna get the risers inside of the lines when you do it this way. So the risers are safely on top of the glider, and all the lines are inside the glider. And now, we just fold them together. Like so. And wait a moment while we answer questions of customers. Hey, what's up, buddy? Customer service always comes first. <laughs> take care of the customer, see, and they'll take care of you. Okay, now I'm at the trailing edge of the glider and all I gotta do is roll this up section by section. Now, if it starts coming out, I kinda push into the center to make it fairly small and the air comes out the top, remember? So as I go, I'm gonna push the air forwards out the top of the glider. And now I can roll section by section, pushing air forwards, rolling, keeping the glider in. And by pushing in here, I can control the width of the glider here. Hold it up. Bingo. Like so, push the air out. Bingo, now. Pushing the air out, and once you have the last two folds, the top comes back this way, and then you fold the top over the top. And that is how small a Dominator packs up size of a big lunch box. So, pretty cool. Now we're gonna put a compression strap around that, throw it in a bag, and you can see how much smaller it is if you need to box it for shipping or carry it onto an airplane, or if you just need to transport them in the smallest possible manner. So, thanks for watching.